All right, welcome back everybody. Today I have a special treat for you. I'm going to show you how I created a children's book. I should say my wife and I created a children's book using ChatGPT and Dolly. Now, if you haven't heard of ChatGPT and Dolly, I'd be very surprised, but just in case, I'll give a basic overview of what they are. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence um, chatbot generator, so you can ask it questions and get responses. For example, hey chat, um, what are some good AI applications for doing art? And then chat will give me uh, an answer based on what it thinks I'm trying to ask. So now it's saying there are many ways an AI can be used to create art, such as generative art, style transfer, music generation. And it's going to give a bunch of, of ideas. I say, uh, and then I can respond to that and have a conversation. Now, what I got to thinking was, could ChatGPT write a story for me? And then, could I use Dolly, Dolly being an uh, art generator, to create illustrations for that story and keep continuity among the illustrations? Now, if you haven't used Dolly, one of the hardest things that people have a, uh, trouble with is keeping continuity from one um, query to the next because each query that you give Dolly is um, counted as totally unique. And so even if you gave it the same exact query twice in a row, it might generate totally different art styles in the images. So I'll, I'll show you some tricks in another video on how to get continuity with Dolly. But let's do this as an example. Um, hey chat, give me a, an artistic description of a cool uh, or a unique uh, painting that involves, what, what should it involve? Let's say Darth Vader and is humorous. So it's going to give me something. All right. A comical scene of Darth Vader struggling to paint a self-portrait. <laughs> The Dark Lord of the Sith is seen holding a paintbrush in one hand and a palette in the other with a canvas in front of him. The expression on his helmeted face is one of intense concentration and frustration, as if he is having a difficult time getting the brush strokes just right. The background of the painting is filled with vibrant colors, creating a dark contrast with the dark figure of Darth Vader. The overall effects of humor and irony. So, let's do this. I'm going to take um, this. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to say digital art to start. So I, I like to give Dolly the art style I would like. And then I'm going to just paste the rest. And we're going to let Dolly generate something out of it. Now, this description is a little long, so I may need to tighten it down. Um, but I want to just show you this is, a, this is virtually what we did with ChatGPT and Dolly to create our first uh, children's illustrated book. We'll be creating many more in the future. And as a little treat, I'll show you the book and read you the first several pages of it today. Oh my gosh. That absolutely nailed it. <laughs> Look at that. So here's Darth Vader. Um, what's kind of cool about this is he's he's painting a self-portrait. You can't really tell that, I guess. But you can tell that he's painting. So, it, so there's no canvas of Darth Vader that is being painted by Darth Vader. But look at this. It nailed it. Darth Vader holding a paintbrush. There's his, his little... Uh, what a palette of paints. Um, really freaking cool. Anyway, we did this for a children's book. Let me show you what that children's book looks like. It is Lily's Adventures in the Land of Enchantment. This was this title was generated by ChatGPT. We did not come up with the title. And there are two books within it, book one and book two. Uh, and uh, let's just dive right into book one here. Before I get in, though, actually, let me say this. It took us about five hours to finish this. That's it. Five hours for the full text, the full illustration, and then formatting this all. We used Canva to, to give it some nice little uh, accents on the text pages and make sure the formatting was correct because we're publishing it with, um, with Amazon print on demand. And I'll, I'll, send you, I'll put the link in the comments or, or maybe in the description if you want to check it out there. So here we are. Once upon a time... In a land far, far away, there was a magical place called the Land of Enchantment. The Land of Enchantment was a place where anything was possible. The trees were tall and green, the flowers always in bloom, and the skies were always a beautiful shade of pink and purple. The animals in the Land of Enchantment were special too. 
There were unicorns that pranced through the fields of golden grass, and dragons that flew through the air with great grace. The people of the land of enchantment were kind and friendly, and lived in harmony with nature. It was a wonderful place to be. Everyone who lived there was happy and content. In the land of enchantment there was a small village. The people who lived there were kind to each other, kind to their animals, and kind to the earth. They were the happiest people that ever existed. One day, Lily, a young girl from the village, decided that she wanted to explore the world. She had heard so many stories about the wonders that lay beyond the village, and she was determined to see them for herself. Lily packed a bag full of supplies, said goodbye to her parents, and set off on her adventure. She walked through fields of waving grass and climbed over rocky fields, marveling at the beauty of the land of enchantment. As she traveled farther and farther from her home, Lily began to notice strange and wonderful things. She saw a pond that sparkled like diamonds, and a tree that seemed to be made entirely of golden fire. At the pond, Lily met a talking rabbit, who offered to show her the way to the hidden forest, a place where the most amazing creatures in the land of enchantment lived. Lily decided to follow the talking white rabbit and journeyed down a long and windy purple road. As the road kept on winding, the forest grew thicker and darker. Lily began to get a little scared, but she was determined to continue on. As Lily continued her journey, she came across a clearing in the forest where the trees grew in a perfect circle. In the center of the clearing stood a beautiful fountain with water that flowed crystal clear. Lily was drawn to the fountain, and as she approached it, something caught her eye. In the bottom of the fountain, she could see a small object glinting in the sunlight. Curious, Lily reached into the cool water and retrieved the object. It was a small, intricately crafted key made of gold. She had never seen anything like it before. Lily wondered what the key could be for. She turned it over in her hand, examining it carefully. As she did, she felt a strange sensation wash over her. It was as if the key was calling out to her, inviting her to unlock something special. Lily made up her mind then and there to find out what the key could unlock. She put it safely in her pocket and set off deeper into the forest, determined to solve the mystery of the golden key. And I'll end the reading right there. If you would like, I will post another video separate from this one that is just a full reading of the book so you can experience the whole book for yourself. Uh, or if you'd like, you can just purchase it on Amazon as well if you want to get it for a kid, a nephew, something like that. Absolutely incredible to me what can be done with the synthesis of AI technologies. Um, and I, I see it as something that helps enhance what humans are currently capable of doing. Personally, I have zero artistic ability, very low artistic ability, but I love creating things. I love building things. And so being able to use Dolly and ChatGPT to help me bring some creative ideas to life has been a really cool experience. And I'm excited to see if you guys come up with anything as well. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please uh, subscribe to the channel. It helps support it so we can put out more cool content like this. And we'll catch you next time.